Taylor Swift releases the Eras Tour movie on streaming services in honor of her birthday. Shortly after Taylor Swift's Sunday night performance at the final 2023 date of her Eras Tour in Brazil, she revealed that her highly anticipated concert film will be available for streaming starting next month. On December 13, Swift's 34th birthday, the Eras Tour concert film, which has made over $165 million in North America and, in Christopher Nolan's opinion, altered the course of theatrical distribution, will be screened. The extended version of the film will feature three new songs that were not included in the original release. These songs include Long Life, The Archer, and Wildest Dreams. Swift also shared a video of her performance of the latter song in conjunction with her announcement. So, essentially, I'm approaching my birthday. Up and I thought that making the Eras Tour concert film available for you to watch at home would be a great way to commemorate the year we've spent together. Swift posted on her social media accounts. We're delighted to inform you that, starting on, you guessed it, December 13th, the extended version of the movie, which includes Wildest Dreams, The Archer, and Long Life, will be accessible for on-demand rental in the US, Canada, and other countries that will be revealed soon. The logos on Swift's website indicate that Apple TV, Vudu, Prime Video, Xfinity, Google Play, and YouTube will all offer the movie for purchase or renting, captured during Swift's performances at Los Angeles SOFI Stadium, but still not included in the Swift's nightly renditions of Cardigan and No Body, No Crime, which she performed with concert openers Haim during the August gigs, are featured in the film. The video version of her Reputation Stadium tour is expected to depart Netflix on December 30, coinciding with the release of the Eras Tour movie. There were speculations that Swift might reveal Reputation at the 2023 final show, which were bolstered by cunning social media posts from the Empire State Building and Auntie Anne's official accounts. However, Swift has not yet stated when her first album and the other two album re-records would be made available.